Navigating the aisles of a grocery store is an easy task for most shoppers. Meat, dairy, produce, no problem. But for an increasing number of consumers, finding foods that fit their gluten-free diet is difficult. Alex Lemke knows the struggle. I found out I was celiac uh, several years ago. She's been gluten-free for several years after being diagnosed with celiac disease, a condition that damages the lining of the small intestine. The first challenge is realizing that gluten is in so many products that you would have never, ever guessed. Um, so that's frustrating. Things, it, it just would surprise you where, where it turns up. Gluten may seem easy to escape, but it's found in more products than just sliced bread and cereal. It turns up in unexpected items, from salad dressings to taco seasoning, and can even be found in the candy aisle. Emily Galazi knows this all too well. The 17-year-old was recently diagnosed with celiac disease and is the only one of her siblings restricted to a gluten-free diet. It's really hard because you have to make two separate meals and you have to have two separate bags of chips, two just separate snacks. And it's hard to have breakfast in the morning because if you want toast, you have a different toaster. Gluten, a protein found in processed foods made from wheat, barley, and rye, has always caused problems for those who suffer from celiac disease. But in recent years, many consumers who do not have celiac disease have also embraced gluten-free diets. A study by Packaged Facts, a leading consumer research firm, found that nearly half of those who buy gluten-free products do so because they perceive the products to be generally healthier. Other consumers use gluten-free foods as a method of weight management or because they think the products are of higher quality. I have a lot of friends that um, choose to just follow a wheat-free lifestyle because they feel better, um, feel like they look better, it helps keep their weight down. With greater demand for gluten-free products, the industry is booming, growing 28% over the past four years. And by the end of 2012, the U.S. market for gluten-free foods is expected to exceed $4 billion annually. Niche gluten-free brands are growing dramatically, and major food manufacturers are catching on, offering classic brands in new gluten-free options. Grocery chains like Midwest giant Hy-Vee are making the gluten-free shopper's trip to the grocery store a little easier. Hy-Vee has seen a 22% company-wide increase in gluten-free product sales in the past two years, according to Director of Health and Wellness, Julie McMillan. So we've expanded these sections by a ton. Um, generally, we were anywhere from a few hundred items, gluten-free items, and now we're thousands of gluten-free items that we offer our customers. She says that Hy-Vee listens to its customers to determine what their needs and wants are, even if that means redesigning the store. We've also gone as far as separating it out for the consumers, so it makes their shopping experience a little easier. They're able to just go to one section in the store and make it a one-stop shop for them. Each Hy-Vee store has different gluten-free offerings, depending on the demands at varying locations, but labeling is always important. Over the past couple of years, Hy-Vee's really focused on um, making it easier for that gluten-free shopper. So we've added shelf talkers um, that really highlight the products themselves, and then we've pulled out the products from the mainstream line and put them into sections where we call out that specific section. So some things you wouldn't normally think about a gluten-free shopper missing would be like cakes and cookies and brownies. So we put them all into one section where the gluten-free shopper can easily find that chocolate cake that they've been missing out on. After being told what they cannot eat, Lemke and Galazi say it's refreshing to see so many items they can eat. They've actually allowed me to live a better, more enjoyable life. Uh, it's really easy now to come in and pick up anything I need um, and make just a normal traditional dish. You know, they know that the product's safe and it is for sure gluten-free. They're not having to take the time to dissect the label because we're kind of doing that for them. Especially all the brownies and cakes and stuff. So you feel like if it's your birthday, you can just get that. Or Christmas, you can just make a pie. Or... So it's easier. It makes you feel better that there's more options. Package Facts estimates that only 10% of consumers purchasing gluten-free items do so because they or another family member have celiac disease. 
And that is prompting some critics to wonder if the growth in the gluten-free foods is just a fad. But Hy-Vee officials believe the trend is here to stay. You know, when we see individuals that go on a gluten-free diet and have the results and the benefits, literally they're life-changing. So once they've had those, that positive impact, they're not going to change their diet back. For Market to Market, I'm Paul Yeager.